Yo, what is up, everybody? So we have the LG G3, and we're going to talk about how it holds up in 2018. And to start off, this was the 2014 flagship by LG. This was, like, top-notch. And, and I'll be honest, when this phone came out, I was, like, debating on selling my dog or something like that to, like, pick up this phone, honestly. The body is super solid. There's really no bezels on the front. I mean, there's bezels, but they're much smaller. And in 2000, especially when the G2 came out, that thing was, like, astonishing. But the G3 did a pretty good job at increasing the screen size and, you know, lowering the bezels but they're still there i mean it's no s8 or anything but you know it was a step in the right direction and actually looking around the body the back cover is removable it also has a removable battery and it also has a micro sd card slot so that's an extremely dope feature the front screen is 5.5 inches it's quad hd it's still fairly sharp like when i was looking at it it looked pretty good and it's ips i kind of wish it was amoled but i mean whatever now the highest version of android it ever got was android 6.0 so it's completely like discontinued basically in software wise but i mean uh, the same thing with my g2 these phones are fairly easy to root and you can rom it and there's kind of a big development community behind it so if you're ever interested in that kind of stuff this is not a bad phone to just pick up and flash you know with android nougat or something like that and uh, looking at the back we have a 13 megapixel camera it's actually pretty good it's a little choppy when you're in the camera app and i think the camera app is actually really ugly looking but i mean low light shots are pretty good uh, the video shoots at 4k as well so that's an awesome bonus there's no slow-mo or 60 frames per second so that might be a deal breaker for a lot of people but for me i guess it doesn't really matter too much and i'll be honest like the overall speed and performance on this phone is still super good there's three gigs of ram there's a quad core processor clocked to 2.5 gigahertz and it can handle almost every single thing i threw at it including like heavier gaming but the thing is is that for some reason like whenever i play heavier games especially i think it's real racing 3 dude that uh, androids have a hard problem playing that game and i'm not too sure what the problem is for it it might be something with the processor or something like that but dude like it's just so weird how it happens on my nexus 10 which is extremely extremely old i think it's like almost six years old it played real racing 3 better than my galaxy s7 did and it played better than how my lg g3 played it so it's, i don't really understand the philosophy there <laughs> now switching over to battery life this is probably the worst part about this phone actually there's another worst part which i'll get into but it is removable though so you can always swap it out for something else i would highly recommend you getting if you get this phone to get the zero lemon batteries i'll leave a link in the description but those things like go for like 4,000 to 5,000 million hours sometimes more they add a little bit of thickness to the phone but honestly Honestly, like I'm willing to sacrifice some thickness for extra battery life so I mean it'll get you probably I mean with my usage I'll be honest I could probably get through like half a day and I have to charge it I'll probably just have to get a new battery and swap them out or something like that I don't know now the biggest problem with the LG G3 is obviously the notorious LG boot loop problem this was the same problem on the LG G2 and the G3 had it as well but I would say that the G3 has a lot less problems than the G2 now I know the boot loop problem still exists for the G3 but I don't think it's as prevalent as g2 and i know people had it but i think like as we further go down the line to g4 g5 i think less and less people have it which is a dumb thing it should never have existed in the first place even with that being said like what i recommend the lg g3 in 2018 i would say that if you're willing to take a little bit of a risk <laughs> then i would say pick one up you know if you can get over the boot loop problem there is a chance you might have it but i would say for the majority it probably won't happen you can get them for relatively cheap there's expandable storage quad hd screen and you can root it and rom it you know i this is not a bad phone to pick up guys so yeah if you can find one in good condition then pick one up but if there's one that already has a boot loop problem just let it go and guys that is pretty much it if you guys disagree or agree with my opinion let me know in the comment section below and if you guys have other questions and answers leave that down below as well leave a like on this video as well that would mean so much subscribe to the channel dude what are you doing like i don't understand like if you're watching my videos why are you not subscribed yet? Check the links out in the description as well. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.